Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another haul. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of my stuff has been coming in. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you so I could put it all away. Um, before I get into all my online orders, I did get some... Um, I found the unicorn um, erasers from Target and I thought that they were so cute. I think it was Tamika who shared it and I was like, oh my god, they move. <laughs> Not that I'll ever use it, use it, but I just think that they're super adorable. So I did pick that up and those were a dollar for six. Um, and then the rest is all of my online orders. So it's a combination of like Amazon, I think Peachy Cheap, KS Craft Store, and I think Andy's store was the other one that I ordered from. So let me just try to um, pick those up. Oh, and um, another place that I just ordered from, which is called iCrafter. So let me um, do Andy's store first. So this is actually a uh, um, die to hold those mini coffee cups that <clears throat> Christian and other people have shared as projects. So... Um, I did get the die for it, so you can make a little stand. I think it'll also fit into the mil the mini milk carton um, one that I got from Divinity Design. So I think I can use those those coffee cups in several projects. But I thought that this one is cute if you just want to do one. And then I think this is a die to wrap around the mini coffee cup. So I haven't tested it yet, but I'm hoping that it um, it will also match like this. I think hopefully that that's the same size for the mini coffee cup. I can't remember what this is for. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I gotta go look at it again. But anyway, they, I think when I looked it up, these came from the Andy store. And I ordered this um, when they had the November 11th sale. So now this is January. I don't know what today's date is. Like early January. But um, so it took over a month and a half for this one to get to me. Um, and it came packaged in the same mail as my KS Craft, KS Craft Store one. So um, let me just share with you all of that now. Okay. So I have some mixed in here. So this is KS Craft Store. I think this is, um, yeah, this is my whole order. Okay. And then I have more KS Craft Store stuff that came in that I ordered from Amazon because they do have an Amazon shop. But. Anyway, so this is the um, sentiment die set that, and I ordered this at the same time, the November 11th. This one is really cute. Yeah, I like, oh, sorry. I like winter themed things. So this is, this one says cold hands, warm hearts, and it comes with the um, outline die. So even though it's really thin, you can like mount it onto a backing piece, which is nice. Um, this one says hot chocolate weather. Um, this one says the magic of Christmas. Oh, the magic. The magic of winter. <laughs> Sorry. And this is have a cup of cheer. So anyway, I thought that those were really cute. So I got that because sometimes you need like sentiments. And sometimes you don't always want Christmas, so it's more like winter and warmth and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I did get the two stocking sets. I have a stocking die, but um, I think if you piece these together, you can make, right? You can make the shaker stocking, which is really cute. So you have to order the two sets, um, but then you'll get three sets of stockings, I think. It looks like it. Anyway... And then you get like all the decorative pieces as well. So I'll probably not use that until next Christmas or Christmas in July. Okay, this is a really cute set that comes with the hearts. So I ordered the ticket one earlier from them, but I couldn't get the heart one on Amazon. So I had to order it through their store on AliExpress. But it makes the cute heart and then it has the um, the die, the coordinating die that goes with it and all of these will fit into the heart which is what I like it so I got that and I can use that for Valentine's Day um, I did get a, a, the stacking what are they called um, primitive stars this middle one is a little wonky looking huh <laughs> but 
Um, I have primitive hearts, but I never got the stars. I tend to use the fat stars a lot more, but sometimes it's nice to have this as well. So I'll probably, I mean, it'll go in my regular stash, but I most likely will use it around Christmas time. Um, okay, so this, okay, let me do this one. So this is like a flower, um, like a frame or, you know, like a, almost like a doily or backing. Uh, but I thought it was cute because it had flowers. They also have one with like stars that are punched out. I almost got that one. I ne I didn't. Um, but I do like this one a lot. I thought that, that was cute. Um, I might get the other one later. Okay, now this is all of the ones you have to construct. Okay, so this one is actually a house die. I think they call it, um, you know, for like a tissue box. You can stick a tissue box inside and the tissue will come out of the top. Or I don't know if it's a chimney. Um, but I did see people making cute, like, Christmas-themed ones. Like, I don't know, gingerbread and stuff. So I did get that. I don't know when I'm going to be using that, but um, I did want to have that one. This one is, oh, this one is the cute milk carton die. So um, I'm sure you've all seen Wandy Sweets and Erica, and I'm not sure who else. Uh, maybe Craft Purge, Tony, uh, make this. It's really cute. It's a... Um, it's a milk carton, but it has like drawers that you can fill. And then the top part, um, I think they Velcro it and then you can add in other stuff on the top. So I really wanted to get that one. And unfortunately, it wasn't on the Amazon store. So I had to um, order that through their site. And then this one is the other one that I really wanted. It's a heart. So you can see the heart here. It's a heart shaped box, um, but it also has drawers that pull out. So. The drawers are kind of like this shaped and there's two and then you pull it out from the top of the heart. Um, these are all designed by Nicole Silhouette. So please go support the stores that she um, sells her, her images to because she was saying that other people were stealing her images and they were making their own dyes, but they weren't going through her. So anyway, I'm glad that I support those stores because um, I want her to continue to make dyes, even though I have like a silhouette, but I'm not... I'm using it and then they added these two to my order and I don't remember ordering them so I'm guessing that it's a gift I'm not sure but this is a really cute um balloon die set and this was in the chaos crafts package um and then this looks like those um it kind of reminds me of mama elephant actually where they had the um the bear die that fits on the box and then it has like all the other pieces so I don't know um how I got this but it was in the package okay so that is the majority of the chaos craft stuff that I got um that I did get on the order for from oh yeah yeah that's it okay so that's the ones I got from directly from chaos crafts on um aliexpress and then I did order this as well this is a um it's really cool it's like a, a bigger envelope die um, I can't remember who I saw using this. I'm guessing it was Erica. Um, but I thought, you know, for Valentine's Day, it's really cute to use. So, how do I show you this too? It's like a, um, it's like a large envelope. Oops, sorry. So, and look at all this extra stuff she puts on it. So it looks like this. This is another Nicole Silhouette die. So it um it has the attachment here. Here's the envelope part, and then this is the backing. So it looks like that. That's pretty cool, huh? And then it has the um all these words that you can add in. And then these are like for the holes. Can make holes at the top. They're like reinforcements. Um. So this is awesome, friend, perfect, lovely, blessed, and heartfelt. So. Um, that one I just ordered and it came pretty fast. I'm still waiting on some of the other dies that I ordered. So as you can see, I have a ton of Chaos Crafts dies now. But I do, I really like the dies that they put out. Like, they have really good dies. So, um, okay, so on to my, let's do Amazon next because it's already out. I did order some gold straws, as you can see. Um, it comes with quite a lot. Um... And this one is all gold. And I wanted that for when I do that um, carousel photo holder. Um, 
I think it would look nice with the gold straws. I also want to order the iridescent straws, but I thought, okay, let me just order this one first um, and see how fast I use it before I order the iridescent ones. Anyway, so I did that because I still have some leftover straws of like the striped kind, but I just wanted some that were like all gold. And then I did order some 12 by 12 uh, mirrored cardstock. And I don't, I think this might have been like Tamika had recommended this brand. And I can always use gold. So I just wanted to try it out and see like how gold is it. Cause sometimes you get gold that is like really gold. And then you get gold that is more like a champagne gold. And so I just wanted to kind of test it out. So, um, but I do want to use it on some upcoming mini albums that I'm working on. Um, because when I do work on them, it's a lot of times it's, um, Asian, it's going to be like Asian themed ones. Okay. And then I did get my order in from Peachy Cheat. So, um, this one just recently came in yesterday and it, um, it was a collection for the best year ever. And I've always liked this collection. I just don't always order it. Um, I just, the prints are really cute and it's very me. Like it's very whimsical. Um, it can coordinate well with Doodlebug or Simple Stories, which it is a Simple Stories. And those are like the companies that I really like. So I thought, and then it kind of gives you a variety. Like it gives, because it's through the year. So you get some that look more Christmassy or Halloween. You know, and so it can actually help you make um, like calendars and that kind of stuff. Oh, it even has cut hearts. See, I've never ordered this set before, so I, I wasn't sure like what you get. So let's just do a really fast flip through. So it looks like the papers are double sided. So that's good. So if you don't want to make like a Halloween theme, you can do something different. Okay, well, that's cool. I like that. I really like that snowman. Oh, and I guess they give you doubles. Okay, that's cool. I like that. And then um, I liked a lot of the accessories. So they give you these enamel dots and some ephemera. And the ephemera is really cute, you guys, because it coordinates with the paper. And then they give you a sticker book. These are really good. If you can find a collection that you really like on Peachy Cheap, it's usually worth it because their prices are really good. And then... Uh, um, sticker sheet with all the different it's like stickers of all the different um months but it has other other words as well too so that that's i think it was like i don't know less than 20 bucks so that was a good deal and then my last um share is um from this company called iCrafter um i've ordered from them before but not this much and um i didn't realize that the owner she came she did like a um youtube video and her she's actually i think japanese american and so she wanted to do a set of stuff that kind of was like um you know for her from her heritage and i love anything asian so I usually buy it even if I know I'm not going to really use it um, just in case, you know, they never have it again or it sells out and they don't bring it back. And so usually when I see stuff that I like, if it's Asian, I'll, I'll buy it because sometimes it's hard to find after a while. So um, I ended up buying, I think, almost everything from the, the new release. And um, I love to support other Asian crafters. So... This is really beautiful. Um, this is a Wisteria die cut. It's actually made for the Slimline um, cards. I'm not a real big fan of Slimline cards. I think that they're kind of big and bulky, but um, I did like this and I, I plan on using it actually in a, in a photo album that I'm working on. Um, the thing that I'm dreading is that like it just cuts out the um, outline, the frame of the Wisteria. So then you have to go back and piece in all the little pieces. So I'm hoping if I use like press and seal or something that that might help. But I still like it. So I don't know exactly if I'm going to do it that way or if I'm going to like try to watercolor it or something. I'm not sure. But I do really like it. Like I think this totally reminds me of my mom when we went to... We took her to um to Japan for the first time and... 
uh, we you know cherry blossom season is like hit or miss so you really have to like have a good good luck to get um, right there when it's cherry blossom season and cherry blossom is only like for a week so it's not easy to catch but um, we decided to try and do something that was more like a sure thing and so wisteria the bloom is longer so and it's usually around the same time every year which is around the end of April and so we took her um, at that time just to go see the wisteria and it was beautiful we went to this one park I think it's called Ashikaga and that park had so many different wisteria blooms anyway that's what this reminds me of so I thought even though it looks a little humbug to put together um, I'm gonna definitely use it more on my albums than on the cards um, and then I got this dye I really liked this um, this is very me it has the sakura on the top um, I saw a tutorial it looks like this from when you're looking down on it um, I saw a tutorial on it and it looks pretty simple to put together here's the main piece with the sakura petal and then this is the base piece so it's a pentagon and then um, they give you the extra sakura bits I don't know what that's for I have to go back and look to see um, but they give you this extra piece here that you can um, place here and then it'll make like a cut apart into the box you don't have to do that but I think that that's always a good thing to have like extra stuff to play with so I did get that um and then I really thought I thought that this was really cute because a lot of times you'll see Kokeshi doll um designs and they're just I don't know they look okay and I got a lot of them actually I ordered a lot from AliExpress I don't use them that much but again I always want to just have it in case I ever need it this one actually I thought was really cute and I like that they you can make two different girls or several different girls based off of the different hairstyles and stuff so I thought she did a really good job in how she designed it so you get one doll um, but you get the different hair so one two three different hairstyles and then um, this is the umbrella and then here's I think part of the kimono and so the cool thing is that you can um, you can actually cut out the kimono out of like origami paper or like washi paper and then make your own design um, so that's what we started to do in sister stamps if you followed us before uh, my sister used to put the little um, designs on the kimono and then I asked, I asked her to stop because then it was easier to color and then we could then stamp on like a washi paper and then cut it out and paper piece it. So um, I like the fact that she allows you to do that with the dice. So I got that. And then this one, I just this is the main reason why I wanted it. Um, I actually had a template that my friend Karen gave me um, where you could um, Xerox copy the koi print and that's actually a nicer image it looks more like the actual koi but this one kind of reminds me of that where you could make um little treat holders using that template and but we had to hand cut everything back then and we would stick like little packets of arare and make it onto a um, fishing pole like a bamboo fishing pole and sell that at craft fairs um, but now I have a actual die that will do it so I can always modify it how I want um, I don't know if I like this piece around the eye but I do I, I'm pretty sure I can make my own eye but I like the rest of it and I like that it has that kind of opening see so you can put like gift cards and other stuff in there so um, and I like that it's one piece it's, it's almost like a pillow box but most of the time when you see people do it the pillow box they'll do and it looks a little off um, this one will work nicely because it has the tail and everything and then it even has the fish scales so i'm kind of happy with that i thought that that was a really good find um if you're into asian kind of stuff and this one was the one i wasn't sure if i was going to pick up or not but i decided to get it anyway um it's a stencil but i love the design um, i don't know that i'm necessarily gonna use it <laughs> but i got it anyway um, because you never know when you're gonna wanna play around with like sprays and stuff like that. So um, I did pick it up and <clears throat> I may use it, who knows, later on. Maybe I'll make this the design that I use to cut out the girls kimonos, I don't know. But anyway, I just got it anyway just to have it in my stash. So I'm quite excited to have this new um, Asian stuff to play with because I haven't made Asian stuff in kind of a bit. And it's always nice to just have the, these. I love dyes because you can always then recreate it later on, right? 
um like i'll always have it <laughs> so anyway that's what i wanted to share with you yeah quite a lot of stuff came in this week it was a bad week overall um and so i'm this makes me happy so i'm glad that it all came in but anyway i hope you guys um have a better weekend than we had this week and i'll talk to you guys next video bye